The universe is a vast and complex place filled with wonders that stretch our imagination. It's filled with swirling galaxies, exploding stars and mysterious black holes, each contributing to the grand tapestry of the cosmos. Yet beneath the surface of this cosmic chaos lies a surprisingly simple principle that brings order to the apparent disorder. This principle governs everything from the motion of planets to the behavior of light, guiding the dance of celestial bodies. It's called the principle of least action, a cornerstone of physics that simplifies the complexities of the universe. In essence, the principle states that nature is lazy, always opting for the most efficient path. It always chooses the path of least resistance, whether it's a river carving its way through the landscape or wind patterns shaping the desert sands. Imagine a ball rolling down a hill. It seeks the quickest route to the bottom. It won't take a long and winding path, meandering aimlessly. Instead, it will follow the steepest descent, reaching the bottom as quickly as possible, driven by the principle of least action. This drive for efficiency is a fundamental aspect of the universe, seen in both natural phenomena and human-made systems. The principle of least action allows us to understand why things happen the way they do, providing clarity in the midst of complexity. It's a powerful tool for unraveling the mysteries of us, of, of the cosmos, uh, helping scientists make sense of the vast unknown. This principle isn't just some abstract mathematical idea, it's a practical guide that has real-world applications. It has profound implications for our, for our understanding of the universe and our place within it, influencing everything from space exploration to everyday technology. Let's delve deeper into the history and applications of this elegant principle, exploring how it has shaped our knowledge and continues to inspire discovery. The story of the principle of least action begins with a puzzle, a challenge that would intrigue and perplex the greatest minds of its time. In 1696, the brilliant mathematician Johann Bernoulli posed a challenge to his peers, a challenge that would echo through the annals of mathematical history. He asked them to find the fastest path for a bead to slide down between two points, a seemingly simple yet profoundly complex problem. The catch? The path couldn't be a straight line, adding a layer of complexity that would stump many. This problem, known as the Brachistochron problem, stumped mathematicians for months, leaving many scratching their heads in frustration. Even Isaac Newton, the father of classical mechanics, and one of the most brilliant minds in history, took notice of this intriguing challenge. Legend has it that Newton solved the problem in a single evening, demonstrating the incredible power and elegance of his newly developed calculus. The solution to the Brachistochron problem was a curve called a cycloid, a shape that would become iconic in the world of mathematics. This curve, resembling the path of a point on a rolling circle, highlighted a key concept in physics and mathematics. Nature often chooses paths that optimize a particular quantity, in this case time, revealing a profound connection between natural processes and mathematical principles. The Brachistochron problem was a pivotal moment in the history of science and mathematics. It showed that simple principles could explain seemingly complex phenomena, bridging the gap between abstract theory and real-world applications. This paved the way for the development of the principle of least action, a cornerstone in the evolution of modern physics and our understanding of the universe. Light, the fastest thing in the universe, also abides by the principle of efficiency. Pierre de Fermat, a 17th century mathematician, noticed something peculiar about the way light travels. Light always takes the path of least time. This observation became known as Fermat's principle. This principle explains why light bends when it passes from air to water. It's also why light reflects off a mirror at the same angle it hits it. In each case, light is taking the fastest route possible. Fermat's principle was a crucial step in understanding the nature of light. It also hinted at a deeper 
principle at work in the universe, a principle that governed not just light, but all physical phenomena. Inspired by Fermat's work, French scientist Pierre-Louis Maupetuis took the idea of least time a step further. He proposed that all physical systems, not just light, follow a path that minimizes a certain quantity. He called this quantity action. Maupetuis' principle of least action was a bold claim. It suggested that there was a fundamental principle governing the behavior of the entire universe. However, his ideas were met with skepticism and debate. Some accused him of plagiarism, others struggled to uh, grasp the concept of action. Uh, despite the controversy, Maupertuis had uh, planted the seeds for a revolutionary idea. His work laid the foundation for a more comprehensive and mathematically rigorous formulation of the principle of least action. Section 5. Katsomkia Tonto Euler and Lagrange, mathematical architects. The principle of least action found its mathematical footing thanks to the work of Leonhard Euler and Joseph Louis Lagrange. These two mathematical giants developed powerful tools that allowed them to express the principle with precision and elegance. Euler, a prolific Swiss mathematician, provided a more rigorous mathematical foundation for the principle. He showed how it could be applied to a wide range of mechanical systems. Lagrange, on the other hand, developed a set of equations, now known as Lagrange's equations, that could describe the motion of any system, from simple pendulums to complex planetary systems. Together, Euler and Lagrange transformed the principle of least action from a philosophical idea into a powerful tool for solving real-world problems. Their work made it possible to apply the principle to a vast array of physical phenomena. Uh, section 6. Hamilton's Symphony of Motion The principle of least action reached its pinnacle of elegance and generality with the work of Irish mathematician William Rowan Hamilton. His contributions were not just incremental, but transformative, reshaping the landscape of physics. Hamilton, a child prodigy known for his exceptional mathematical abilities, reformulated the principle in a way that revealed its deep connections to other areas of physics. His early brilliance was evident, and his work continued to shine throughout his career. Hamilton's approach, known as Hamiltonian mechanics, provided a new perspective on the principle of least action. This new framework allowed physicists to explore the dynamics of systems in a more profound and comprehensive manner. It showed that the path taken by a system is not just the one that minimizes action, but the one that satisfies a specific mathematical relationship. This insight was revolutionary, offering a deeper understanding of the natural world. This relationship, captured in Hamilton's equations, linked the principle of least action to the concepts of energy and momentum. These equations became fundamental tools for physicists, enabling them to solve complex problems with greater ease. Hamilton's work elevated the principle of least action to a central concept in theoretical physics. His insights bridged the gap between abstract mathematics and practical physics, making his contributions invaluable. It provided a powerful framework for understanding the fundamental laws of nature. Hamilton's legacy continues to influence modern physics, reminding us of the profound impact one brilliant mind can have on our understanding of the universe. Section 7 From classic to cosmic, the principles reach. The principle of least action's influence extends far beyond classical mechanics. It has found applications in numerous branches of physics, including electromagnetism, quantum mechanics, and even general relativity. In electromagnetism, the principle helps explain the behavior of electric and magnetic fields. In quantum mechanics, it plays a crucial role in Feynman's path integral formulation, which provides sway to calculate the prob probability of a quantum event. And in general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity the principle helps describe the motion of objects in strong gravitational fields. The principle of least action's ability to bridge the gap between classical and modern physics is a testament to its power and universality. It suggests that the simple principle captures something fundamental about the way the universe operates. 
um, section 8. Unraveling the universe one action at a time. The principle of least action is more than just a mathematical curiosity, it's a profound statement about the nature of the universe. It suggests that the universe is governed by a deep-seated efficiency. Nature, it seems, always seeks the most economical path. This principle has led to remarkable breakthroughs in our understanding of the cosmos. It has allowed us to predict the motion of planets, explain the behavior of light, and even delve into the quantum realm. And as we continue to explore the universe, the principle of least action will undoubtedly continue to guide our journey. The principle of least action is a reminder that even in the face of the universe's vastness and complexity, there is an underlying elegance and simplicity waiting to be discovered. Section 9. Keep exploring the cosmos. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be uncovered. From the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galaxies, there's always something new to learn. So keep asking questions, keep exploring and never stop being curious about the cosmos.